Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new Adobe Premiere Elements for Mac. So Adobe Premiere is the alternative to Final Cut Studio. And like Final Cut Studio has Final Cut Studio Express, there's Adobe Premiere Elements, a cheaper simplified version of Premiere. But until now, it hasn't been available on the Mac. Adobe just came out with Adobe Premiere Elements for Mac for only 99 bucks. Let's go and take a look at it. Uh, at the top left, we've got the preview area. At the right here, we have the area where you can grab media and change settings, add effects, things like that. And at the bottom, we have the scene line or timeline. So the scene line is kind of like how iMovie works, except it's just one long line going from left to right. And timeline is the old fashioned way of, of doing things. Let's take a look here. If I drag and drop a movie from my organize area into here, you can see I've got uh, an area for a transition and I've got the video itself, another area for a transition and a space for the next clip. And I can drag the next clip there as well. And then I can switch back and forth between the scene line here and the timeline. So in the timeline here, I've got, uh, you can see that this clip on the left is much smaller than this clip on the right. I can see the audio separately. Uh, I can adjust the size of these and I can see small previews in here and I can move around in here. I think I showed to show you some other things. Uh, we've got uh, transitions that we could add. Uh, let's go back to the scene line here and you can see the transitions. So we could go to the uh, edit area up here and we can go to transitions and then we can choose from a variety of different transitions here. Uh, there's a nice set of effects including a bunch of 3D effects as well. So for instance we can drag this box fold here between the two of them and then as we move the timeline over we can see the transition happen and I can press play here to preview it. You could also apply a variety of effects and filters. So we go to effects here and we can scroll through these and usually we have a much bigger screen area and you can grab one of these effects. Like for instance, let's grab the earthquake effect, drag it over here and drop it. And now when I play here in the preview, you can see it shakes the video up. There's old film effect, there's colorize and converting to a cartoon like effect and all sorts of things in here. And then each one also has settings that you can customize. Now you can also put uh, pictures inside of pictures and combine them. Uh, you've got here multiple video and audio sections of the timeline. So for instance, I could put the two of these over each other by dragging and dropping it like that. And then I could actually make one opaque or shrink it. So for instance, uh, I could select this video here, which is on top of the video behind it. And I could select properties here. Uh, under properties, I could go to motion and scale it. And you can see there I've scaled it down. And I can effectively do picture in picture like that. Uh, and you can see here this red line is showing that this area is unrendered. Uh, but I could still preview it by moving along the timeline and seeing what different points in it look like. So there's a lot of interesting things you can do. For instance, here I could uh, not only add titling, but add default text here, uh, which will then allow me just to add some text and move it around on the screen anywhere I want. I can also add shapes and objects to the screen like that, center them, change the colors, draw some lines, do all sorts of things. And you can see it's added it down here as a video track so then I could potentially move that around and uh, reposition it. Uh, there's even motion tracking. Uh, there's uh, some default titling. There's some themes you could apply. Of course, you can bring in clip art and your own photos and do different things with that as well. Uh, there's all sorts of different audio tools. There's a lot of automatic tools for trimming clips and splitting clips up uh, and just a ton of different features. It's a very deep tool. You can even build your own DVDs right from Premiere Elements. You don't have to go to another program like you would with iMovie to go to iDVD. 
There are also a lot of sharing options. Sharing to Facebook, sharing to YouTube and all that. And of course the standard export functions that will just create a movie that you can do something else with. So let me warn you that the learning curve is very steep as it is with Final Cut and Final Cut Express. It's a much more complex tool than iMovie. So I only recommend it if you really want to take the time to dig deeper into video editing or you have some semi-professional needs for more features in your video editing than iMovie offers. iMovie still definitely wins out in terms of ease of use especially if you're just a home user and you want to throw together some videos and uh, make something very quick. But if you want more pro like features but you don't want to spend too much, 99 bucks seems pretty reasonable to spend to get the features here. It definitely seems like a really good alternative to Final Cut Express. So I hope you like this look at Adobe Premiere Elements for Mac. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.